Okay, now I'm going to show you how to do some troubleshooting. Um, and to do that, I'm going to simulate some of the errors you may have got. So, for example, if I go into the data directory, the meshes, and I delete the entire advanced recon folder, this would mean this would be the equivalent of installing it and not having installed the meshes. I'll make sure my archive and validation is on and then run the game. Okay, now watch what happens when I put on the armor. As you can see, the invisible man. This means the meshes are not in game. So I'll undo that, put the meshes back. If I do the same thing in the textures, I'll show you that again, it's a bit quick. If I go into data, textures, and kill off the advanced recon folder. There are no textures now, so we have meshes, but no textures. But again, generally extremely easy to see. Now watch what happens when I put on the armor. There we go. Now sometimes if you have no textures like this, the way it deals with it um, instead of just flicking through all the textures like this is it actually brings up great big um, red triangles with exclamation marks in them. It, it, that sometimes can happen too. This bug also occurs, uh, this effect also occurs if you have archive invalidation turned off. I'll show you that. Is I will click toggle invalidation and it says remove archive invalidation, I will say yes. So I'm now running it without archive invalidation set. Now I have got a heavily modded game and so it will cause all sorts of problems for me uh, fairly quickly. So I better press this. There's the armor. Same effect as you can see. Pretty awful. Um, you can also notice that um, the weapon I've carried on my back has a similar effect. This is because that weapon is a modded weapon. And when I turned off archive and validation, I may as well have thrown away all the textures for every mod. As you can see, I now get a problem with the uh, downified UI because I've turned off archive and validation, and in fact, it will not let me quit. Which means I have to do the following. So, those are the usual suspects you should check. So, if you do get any problems like that, make sure in your data directory you have inside meshes, the advanced recon folder, and in, inside re the, in the advanced recon folder you will see armor, helm, trench coat, trench coat dark, and wasteland. If I go back up to the data directory and then go into textures, advanced recon, again, armor, helm, trench coat, trench coat dark, wasteland, and also HUD hood, you will find. Um, those are things you should find. In your Fallout Mod Manager, make sure when you click toggle invalidation, if it says apply archive invalidation, you don't have it applied, so click yes. If however it says remove archive invalidation, click no. The game should run. You'll also notice this button here says launch Fosse. If you do not launch Fosse, my mod will not work. I will try and show you what would happen there uh, by opening up Fallout and going via the Fallout launcher. Um. So if I now put on the armor You'll notice, ah, the weapon mod kits has already detected Fozy is not running and will keep giving me that warning every few seconds. So I will get on with it and put the night vision on. And I'm now pressing the night vision key and nothing is working. Absolutely nothing is working, even though I have the item on. That is all that will happen. I quit that. As you can see, there are several other mods. This one, the Weapon Modification Kit, which is an excellent mod, won't work without Fosse, so install it. Uh, I hope that helps. That's probably the most common errors that you'll ever get. 
if you get um, serious errors and you've followed all those pieces of advice what I would actually suggest is uninstalling the mod downloading it again in case you've got a corrupt texture reinstall it if you get that those problems twice give me a, a private message and we'll see what we can do I hope this helped